what's going on guys today i'll be demonstrating you a new tutorial on how to make a torpedo in blender this is very simple process so sit back and relax now here comes the intro this is the default cube delete it by pressing X and then delete now we will need a hemisphere so press shift a mesh and then UV sphere now go to the modifier section and then subdivision surface set the view and render values to do and then click the smooth button now we will need a hemisphere so press tab for edit mode and then switch to wireframe mode now we can select the vertices be behind the sphere also so press 5 for orthographic mode and then press 3 for right, right view and then press A uh, in order to deselect everything and then press B and select the vertices in this way now press X and then delete the vertices now as you can see we have a hemisphere now press alt and then right click on one of the vertex to select all the vertices behind it so press E to extrude on Y axis and then press 2 and then press enter now again press E and Y, y and then press 5 once again press E Y and then 5 now scale it down a little bit now it should look good now press tab again to return to normal view and then press tab again and then we will need a face over here so make sure that these vertices are selected and then press F to add a face so as you can see it uh, it is very smooth so for fixing it just press ctrl R and then click and then move it till it is to the end so press ctrl r once again and repeat the process now we are fine now the basic is done so we don't need this for a while so drag it touch it and then press shift a mesh and then a cylinder so this cylinder is going to be of 16 vertices now press tab for edit mode and then make sure that the face select mode is enabled now press E to extrude by one unit and then select the face which is right opposite to it so repeat the same process again and over here also This is going to be the back part of the torpedo. So scale it down on Z axis a little bit. And then go to the modifier section. And then subdivision surface. Set the view and render values to 2. And then click the smooth button. Now as you can see there are many faults in this. So in order to fix it. Go to tab for edit mode. And then press ctrl R. So select any of the face. And then drag it to the end. Now it should look good. Now scale it on y axis a little bit. And now it should look good. Now repeat the process till you are satisfied. In this way. now it's somewhat better I scale it down a little bit on z axis once again and now we don't need this now we need to make the back turbine so for that press shift a mesh and then a cylinder we need a cylinder of what of 
vertices 10 so as you can see this is very nice put the step for edit mode or rotate it on x axis by pressing r x and then 90 degrees now press tab for edit mode and then make sure that the face select mode is enabled and then select all the alternate faces now press e to extrude and then h to scale don't worry this is going to be very nice now select the edge, select all the alternate edges and then press R then Y and then 10 degrees and then enter now select the back part of the same faces and then press Ctrl R uh, and then R then minus 10 degrees uh, R by minus 10 and then enter now scale it down by axis a little bit scale it down and now add the subdivision surface modifier set the view and render values to 2 and then click the smooth button now press tab for edit mode and then press ctrl r Do this to all the faces until you are satisfied. Now we are done with the modeling. Now we should we should assemble each and everything. This is the body and this is the back part. So rotate it on x axis by 90 degrees. And we put this at the back. Now we will we'll need to arrange this properly. So for that uh, we can switch to different modes. Make sure that it is it is fine. Well aligned. And now we are done with the modeling. So let's jump into texturing. So we'll first texture the dot front body of the dot below. So press tab for edit mode, and then we need the face select mode. So press Alt and select all these faces. Now we'll go to the material section and go to cycle cylinder. So press New, and then the texture is going to be glossy. Select glossy and then it doesn't matter with the color you can set anything of your choice now just click assign now go select a new material and then press alt and then press shift and alt to select all the remaining vertices and click new and this is going to be another material and it is going to be silver color now we should texture this one also so for that go to right view and then press B and select all these faces it's not proper so I'll attempt it once again I know I think it's good so select a new material and then it's same so click assign for all this for all the previous materials and now we are done with the texturing of the body so in the same way we'll, we are going to texture the texture the back part so select glossy you can put, put textures of your own choice this is an exception and the same with the fan also I'm going to put the same materials and now we are going to add some bubbles 
to the back part of the torpedo so for that go to this panel and then click new now press shift a and then an icosphere and scale it down a little bit if you want now drag it to the bottom and then press the and uh, go to the object button and in here select icosphere now it's going to emit icospheres as it moves so set the number to somewhere around 5000 it depends on the speed of your ram higher the value slower the response will be and now if you click the play button it's going to emit all these icospheres but there is a small problem as you can see the gravity is acting on this so in order to fix it go to field weights and set the gravity to zero now they are going to act horizontally as you can see now if you add velocity to the object they will be fine so let's join all this press ctrl j to join everything as you can see or press ctrl p for parenting and if you add some velocity to it it will look good so press i and then location and then at the 100 frame it's going to move a little forward now let's add some rotation to this fan press i and then rotation and then go to the 100 frame and then press for the location coordinates and set it to somewhere around 720 degrees and then add a keyframe over there so as you can see it is moving to a high velocity if you want to add a background you can do it so i'll stop it here thanks for watching please like share and subscribe